welcome. 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 Yes, I said too many welcomes. But anyway, welcome to another episode of Vet in a Van. This episode um, is all about Willy Creek. So amazing, well, yeah, your broom's so full. Um, but then half an hour uh, up the road towards Cape Levick, you'll find Willy Creek. And I'll tell you what, this place is magic. Here's us, right here, which is good. Here's the creek. Um, massive tidal, so there's, um, is, well, we've had, we had like up to seven, eight metre tides. Anyway, I was laughing at the van, I'll show you some footage of that later. Um, but man, it's a great spot, it's free, half an hour from Broome. There's just some legends that we've met here, just other travellers, um, been having big bonfires at night time, just having a yarn and fishing. Fishing has been next level so um yeah so just a quick episode really creek um because that's all we've been doing we've literally been here all week we're about to go out and smash some more um blue nose threadfin or blue nose salmon and um enjoy okay first stop on the dampier peninsula as we head north of Broome, and we have um yeah got ourselves a little good and doesn't get bit how's this for uh waterfront camping Look at that, eh? <laughs> Not bad. I think the water's probably going to be like right at the base of the van. Now this is just off high tide. So 20 minutes to high tide tons. They're about, so we've got 20 minutes off high, high tide. Um, it's going to get a little higher tomorrow as well, so. That's why we're making sand walls. So the guys are making sand banks in preparation of us. But have a look at this, right? Check this out for a campsite. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Sorry if that was all a bit wonky. But um, yeah, it's free. It's about 25 minutes from Broome. It's got TV reception. It's free. Hopefully the fishing's good. And um, it's got internet as well. So just like chill here for a little bit and uh, enjoy this amazing blue water and hopefully some cracking fishing, hopefully. <laughs> how did, how did, how did you know go, Eli? Terrible. <laughs> they spent all this time building this amazing little rock wall and one wave's come through. I think our, our, our big doozy of a wave is, uh, I think that's as high as it gets. So tomorrow I reckon it'll be right up to the mat. How exciting, eh? <laughs> oh, it's good fun though, eh, Yellow? Not really when it gets destroyed. Either. You'll have to, um, they'll have to build a bigger wall tomorrow. Seriously, need a, uh, what about it on Thursday? This is, that's gonna be like this times four. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Check this out, hey. Tanya's over there using the last of our bait. Um, the fishing at, where we were staying at Wiley Creek, Wiley Creek at the free camp, Willie Creek at the free camp. Fishing, I don't know, it's supposed to be good, um, but we didn't have much luck and neither did anyone else while we were there. So we've just gone for a bit of an explore. And we've come, look at this place. I mean, wow, right? <laughs> That is like the most stunningly beautiful beach. And guess what? We found a campsite um, just up there. So we, we think we can get the van in. It's gonna be a bit tricky, um, but we reckon we can get the van in. There's no one else around. We'll have the place to ourselves. Um, 
the, the fishing here, just to give you an indication of how today's gone. Yep. Yay! So we've got um, we've got three. We've only been out here for about three hours or two hours. We've got three good size threadies and um, thread fin salmon, otherwise known as um, as blue salmon. And a um, whoop, and I'll get it here. Fantastically sized yellow tail brim. So all great eating. And um, yeah, we're gonna move. <laughs> Going to move tomorrow. We would have moved today, but tonight we're going to a rodeo. <laughs> ah, yes. So we've never been to a rodeo before. That is going to be one hell of an experience. So the Broom rodeo is on. Um, so we're going to duck back into Broom uh, and and check out the rodeo. So I'll pop some shots into that because it should be pretty cool. So fishing, moving campsite, amazing beach, rodeo, rock and roll. Rodeo, good experience, interesting experience. I'll tell you what, it was, look, it, we'd never been to a rodeo before, so that was like, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no, we, we are now fishing. So last night, I'll pop some footage in. Last night we um, hooked up with some other friends that were camping nearby, and they got onto a massive, what was it, a Kobe? Uh, Cobia. Cobia, like it was like over a metre, like a metre two, yeah, metre three, yeah. like massive fish. Um, and then we so I cleaned it up and everything, and then put the um, put the carcass out. This giant bull shark. I hope they put some footage in. Hopefully it turned out all right. Um, just came and smashed it. And so now we're back out. We've gone a bit further than we were before from the campsite, and the fishing is going off. We've got probably half a dozen whiting. Mm -hmm. We've got just got a big dart. Um, oh no, not a dart. What's permit. Called? Big permit. Um, flatties. Uh, salmon, and this is before the tides even started running. So, yeah, fingers crossed we'll be able to pop in some footage of some big fish. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so it's official. I suck when it comes to um, getting <laughs> getting GoPro footage of us catching fish because we're too busy catching fish. But um, we did really well. So whiting, lots of really good sized whiting. Um, Queenie, dart, not a dart. What was it? Uh, permit. Permit. Um, so yeah, a couple of, couple of good, nothing really big, uh, but that's okay. So, but have a look at this. Oh, yes. So this is um, it's tuna and kingfish caught uh, yesterday afternoon um, that we've made into sushi rolls. So this is the sushi rolls that we bought with us when we left like nine months ago. <laughs> now we finally get to make sushi because we finally got somewhere we can get kingfish and tuna. Well, we've got kingfish and tuna. They're given to us, by the way. We didn't catch it. Um, but yeah, man, this tuna, it is like buttery melt in your mouth. I'm not gonna eat on cam, but it's so good. Mm. So here we are, out on the beach. I mean, have a look at this, huh? That is 
unbelievably beautiful. Unfortunately, it's full of like crocs and sharks and jellyfish and all kinds of stuff that'll kill you. However, just down there is the mouth of Wiley Creek. Um, the tide is just on its way up. So you can see here, I don't know how well you can see it, but basically the, the tide comes in really softly and then this last little bit's a bit of like a, a lip up. And so that's the bit you want to um, you want to fish for your uh, blue nose salmon. So we've got here probably right on, um, nice and early. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll set up just using pilchards or muleys, whatever you want to call them, um, and we'll have a fish. Hey, first fish of the beach, the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> nice work! Aha. Yeah! We are on the fish! Do tans. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. So, Blue, I reckon we were due for a good day fishing because it's been a while. And look, check this out. So this is that's from the beach, um, from the footage that I hopefully just showed um, that I got on the other GoPro. So the sound would have been awful, but that's all right. And um, this morning we got all those whiting. Plus, um, what else did you catch? A brim. Is it a brim? What else no, we get this morning? A flatty. Yeah, so a bunch of whiting and a flatty this morning. And then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight good size stub nose, blue nose, salmon, thread fin, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, plus the other four we got yesterday, plus the brim. So they've all got a date with the freezer. So hopefully we can fill the freezer up before we hit the gib so we don't have to spend any money on meat. We can just eat fish the whole time, which would be really, really good. And it does actually save a huge amount of money. You know, obviously if you're vegetarian, 
that's great. That's you, you can be a vegetarian, but um, this does save us a huge amount of cash on the road because yeah, you just eat fish that you catch yourself. It's great. <laughs> Go slowly. You're wearing thongs. He's gone for that ledge. What is it? There you go, now he's running again. We need a net. Oh my god! Does anyone have a good, a good net? It's a Chinaman. It's a Chinaman, is it? Oh, it's a big cod. A big cod. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's a big cod. Oh my god, that is a massive cod. We don't have a net to get him up. Oh yes! Oh, oh, Hang, to a day. Hang on. Just let him sit in the water and I'll come help you. Because I'll hold the rod while you pull him in. Yeah, now we're right at the right? I just don't really want to cut my feet on these oyster shells. Yeah. Hold on. Oh look at you! <laughs> oh yeah! That is massive! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's yeah. gold spot. <laughs> that, yes, that, that's, that's, that is epic. That is epic. Let's get him in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. morning another beautiful day here at willy creek um so this is the last day on the actual creek um the sarvo we're going to try and zip over to this uh new campsite that we found which hopefully we'll be able to get into the sand's pretty soft and we haven't seen any caravans in there so and wiki camp says four wheel drive only but that hasn't stopped us in the past so you know <laughs> It'll be fun all the same. Um, but before we go, we're gonna do some more fishing because fishing yesterday was like madness. Um, so we're gonna zip out there, do some more fishing, then move the van. So hopefully next shot will be of us catching big fish. <laughs>
getting this thing in. Spool I had left. Ah! How do you go today, honey? How do you go? Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, fish on. So day two, Willy Creek. I've just smashing it on the fishing. Um, so beer battered tonight, uh, which is going to be delicious. Beer battered uh, blue nose salmon or threadfin, not giant threadfin. Um, so there's two different. I mean you. If you don't, if you're in WA and you fish and you don't have the WA Fish app, then you should get the WA Fish app because it is absolutely, totally, utterly amazing. Um, but there's two types of thread fin. There's a giant thread fin. You only have two of those per person, and they're you know meter plus. Um, or there's like the stub nose salmon or blue nose salmon or whatever you want to call them, which are the smaller ones. Which are, I mean, I think the biggest one we got was about 65 centimeters, 70 odd centimeters, which is still pretty big. Um, and you have four of those per person. But, um, you know, we, we were prepping for the gib and we were worried about how much money we were gonna spend on, on meat and whatnot. And I reckon we'll uh, have the freezer full for uh, probably a month on the gib. So, yeah, it's just, mate, this is magic. Look, I'll have a look at here. Like, it really is. Stunning. It is the most beautiful place. So, um, yeah, we've got the other amazing campsite that we're going to go to um, and then catch some more fish. And yeah, that'll probably be it for this episode. <laughs>
lots of shocks. Shock of my So that's, uh, this is what a 150 pound leader looks like when it's been munched by a shark. I think the, the apologies if the footage there was a bit grubby, but you know, it's a beautiful creature, but you go to any fish and chip shop and buy fish and chips and that's what you'll get. So this one's had a brilliant life and um, unfortunately he will become fish and chips, but one of the best eating sharks you can get. So delicious. Good morning. So we've moved, um, moved a few k's up the road to uh, this site that we found that I was talking about earlier. And have a look at this. That's us, right there. And that's our view, right there. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's hardly anyone here and let me just reiterate, we're about 35 minutes from the centre of Broome, where it is just packed wall to wall, and it's free, and you can have fires, <laughs> and the fishing's great. So, um, yeah, yeah, so this is just, when you come in, I probably said it before, but I'll say it again, when you come in to Wiley Creek, there's blue markers and there's red markers. Red markers will take you down to the river mouth, where we were camped earlier, which is a beautiful, beautiful, hands down, beautiful spot. Great little community along that beach as well. Just we met so many great travellers. Um, a lot of kids, which, you know, is good for us because kids get to play. Um, but if you follow uh, the blue markers, um, they'll take you up here. So you end up on the beach and man, it is just, I mean, look, it is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, where else? You walk out the door, you know, keep it in mind, we're right there. You walk out the door to just a stone's throw of the most beautiful ocean views and there's no one else around. <laughs> you gotta do this, <laughs> simply put, you've just gotta. It's just, it is the best life. Okay, so I know that um, you hate me saying this, but this one is extra special. Get a load of this. I'll chuck, we'll get the cannon, we'll take some more shots. Um, but there's been some fires just up over there um, around Port Headland area. And so the smoke has come across here. And there's just this giant orange ball of a sunset, which looks insane. And so Tarns and I have got pina coladas. How's the pina, pina coladas going? Uh, she's been saying she's coming. 
been saying she's gonna be making. She said she was gonna make and me one about an hour ago. I have a growing list of things to do. But look, check that out. Wow. And also, what's yeah. even better is look at this. Whoa! So that's a slow cooked pork shoulder that's on. So we might um we might just get the chairs and sit around the fire and drink a pina colada and watch the sun go down because that is amazing for a lazy lazy thursday afternoon and then tomorrow tomorrow first thing in the morning because we're a, i should actually upload this episode tomorrow this shows how up to date i am because yeah tomorrow is friday um we're gonna do uh the pearl farm because you can't do willie creek without doing the Willy Creek Pearl Farm. So I'll chuck in some shots of this and then tomorrow morning, Pearl Farm. And then that's probably it for the episode because, oh. man, this place is amazing. Next level. Anyway, Pearl Farm, sunset, rock and roll.